a lot of things you don't notice about BBS often until you see it from someone else's eyes or you're told it's different. I don't, uh, there's been so many times where like, the doctor would be like, surprised that something would be like, wait, that's not normal? guys I haven't been up for too long um mom and Kelly had already left for Jackson when I was got up they had got left about three minutes before I got up but so it's a quiet day here he has been doing some dishes and I have been working on doing my morning routine taking my medicine and all that and I called mom and Kelly and check up on them and we talked for a bit and yeah it's been quiet so far but I'm doing okay. My legs feel wobbly and shaky, but not bad. I think not like I don't. I don't think I'll start feeling worse, and so I think I'll be okay, especially once Madison kicks in, and he's going to make me coffee because she's amazing. <laughs> and so I'm about to edit today's vlog and let's see where we go from there. I'm hoping Hannah and I can t watch some Dire to ship it in today. We haven't had a chance to watch it lately. And we both really want her to see more of it. <laughs> so hopefully we can get a chance to do that. We'll see. I am chilling in bed right now. I have thimble cuddles. She's laying on my stomach, happily sleeping. I have coffee. Hannah is amazing and made it for me. Ah, uh, yay. And I'm switching back and forth um, from watching anime and pinning Voltron Legendary Defender pins on Pinterest. I don't use Pinterest much, but I use it to, like whenever I fin get it really into a show, I'll go on there to pin a bunch about that show, but that's pretty much all I use it for anymore. I used to use it a lot, but now I just use it mostly for anime and rarely American shows like Voltron. <laughs> but, <laughs> So yeah, it's nice, just chilling, it's relaxing. I got today's vlog edited and uploaded, so that went really smoothly. But I realized when I was editing the um, screenshot for the vlog image that I was making a sign like this um, in it. And I realized by looking at it that I don't make it like a normal person. My finger, knuckle here. As you can see, hyperextends. I never noticed that. Well, I knew it hyperextended, but I didn't realize it looked different than when uh, non EDSers do it. And so it's really weird. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's weird. Um, there's a lot of things you don't notice about EDS often until you see it from someone else's eyes or you're told it's different. I don't. Uh, there's been so many times where, like, the doctor would be, like, surprised that something would be like, wait, that's not normal? <sighs> but with it being in our family, it's what we knew. So if we did something weird, we talk, we'd talk to our mom about it and be like, oh, yeah, I do that, too. Well, she did, too, because she also had EDS. She didn't know it was weird, either. Because in school, she was told to stop complaining that, you know, her fist was acting up and... Turned out it was probably just locating on her. Whatever. So, EDS life. <laughs> hey guys, it is. Uh, what time is it? It's about 12:41, and um, we just got into Vicksburg, Mississippi. Um, Mama is in CVS right now, picking something up, and uh, we're gonna eat a little bit of something, then hit the road again. Um, my appointment's at one o'clock, so. I'm really hoping we're not going to be running late. We probably will be running just a little bit late. But, um, you know, it's going to be okay. Um, yeah. So far, it's been rainy all day. Which isn't really too bad. It's mostly been over... It was mostly overcast for most of the ride. And now it's just been a bit rainy. But, honestly, they're kind of the nicer drives like this. Um, sunny days are just not as nice to be driving on, to be honest. I like the cloudy days. Um... But we have been seeing a lot of ambulances and like electrician vehicles and stuff and they're all heading towards Houston. Um, probably just to help with the hurricane and flood relief. A lot of people are getting hit really hard. 
Um, a lot of friends are getting hit right now because we lived in Houston for like 13 years. We know a lot of people down there and they're getting hit pretty hard with this right now. Um, but right now uh, we just got a lot. Um, so, yep, mom's back. Uh, so right now we are going to eat, get back on the road, and yeah. Oh yeah, it's been a fun trip because there's lots of smells this time. It feels like there's an unusual amount of smells this time, oddly enough. I, I was thinking because it was a rainy day there wasn't going to be as many smells, but it seems like there are more smells with the rain, doesn't it? <laughs> it's the last thing when we get on the highway. It'll be better. Yeah, like it's going to be a better day because there's no rain. I feel like I'm constantly shoving my face into a blanket, even with my mask. It's like mask and a blanket just to get rid of any of the smells. Um, there was the tar. The tar was intense. Like, I mean, we were driving through smoke. There was like really intense tar. They were fixing um, roads and stuff. We ended up rolling down the window because we had to get the smell out of the car. Um, and then after we passed it. Yeah, after we passed it. <laughs> Let's let's smoke in. Ooh. Um so we did that. And then just now one of our stops. I was I was walking up to my door and the lady in the car next to me literally had her window down with a cigarette hanging out. And yeah, I don't do very well with that. Like I can't I, I pass out when people smell like cigarette smoke. I I mean like the slightest whiff of smoke on somebody and I'm I'm out. So I mean like I'm honestly surprised I'm talking to y'all right now so uh <laughs> yeah uh we're gonna eat because this, this smells good and i need to take some food oh yeah made? rachel made food yummy chicken nuggets rachel made nuggets winner winner chicken dinner <laughs> <laughs> so yeah these are like a uh, tapioca pan fried and olive oil these are completely safe for both me and mama which is a feat Amen. considering I can't eat anything, and Mama's on like THM. Uh, the I, no, no, this wouldn't be THM. No, oh, okay. it's just the gluten and dairy. Sort yeah, of make life difficult. So I can't eat anything, and she can't eat gluten. So there's that, but it actually tastes like real food, surprisingly. So Rachel's pretty good. So I need to go take gloves in and. Just because my darn alarm did not, oh wait, my alarm did go off. I turned it off. <laughs> I do that all the time. I gotta stop doing that. I just forget. Anyway, get up. about to watch episode 408 of Naruto Shippuden. I've already seen the whole series. She's watching it for the first time, so it's a lot of fun to get to see her reactions. I'm currently watching the Naruto spin-off that's currently airing and enjoying that. But ah, I was so sad when the series itself ended though, so <laughs> having a lot of emotions about re-watching it with Hannah. But it's fun and uh, Sarah's watching some of it with us. She's gone at the moment though and we're eating some veggie foil packets Hannah made. Um, she had did some Creole mustard to mine, and it also has okra, which I really like. So mm -hmm. that's fun. What? Rosemary. Oh, and she added rosemary. So it's really delicious, and I really think she made that because I was procrastinating eating breakfast because I didn't want to have to make anything. <laughs> Me and Sarah some sweet potato curly fries for lunch. They taste really yummy and they also have garlic on them. 
I'm making half a batch right now. Well, half of what I have. This is what I usually make. But Hannah was really nice and used a lot of sweet potatoes on the spiralizer for me. Um, as you can see, she used the spiralizer on a lot of vegetables earlier. But she made it for me because when I used the spiralizer on a sweet potato the other day, I pulled a muscle on my shoulder. I don't know how she does it differently than me, but she does. And so... I'm making half a batch of what she made right now because I want to be able to give them enough space on the pan to get a little crispy. They don't get too crispy, but the edges will. So I'm adding some olive oil, some salt. I like that. A good bit of salt because I have dysonomia and salt is very important. And some garlic powder. And I just mix it all up. And now I'm going to cook it at, um, here, now you can see me, oh, my hand's dirty though, but now I'm going to cook it at 425 until the edges start getting dark so it gets a little crispy, which will take about 15 minutes. And after these come out, I'll make the other half I have in the fridge, and yeah, the nice thing about the sweet potatoes is they don't turn dark like white potatoes do, so you can make them in advance, so that's really nice cook, Hannah. Spy light says this morning for me, and I'm just not making them, so that's really helpful. And we'll have that and some chicken for lunch. And yeah, that's a nice, easy lunch. Mama and Kelly are home. I was really fatigued for a while this evening, but I rested, I took a bath, had a snack, rested some more, and I'm feeling better now. So, Mom made me some coffee, and I have painting clothes on, so I'm gonna move out to the patio so I can paint some. Okay, even though acrylics don't have much of any scent, Kiana can't, can't handle it due to the mast cell activation syndrome. So I have to paint out on the patio whenever I use acrylics. So I'm going to do that and hopefully finish the painting I've been working on. I haven't been able to work on it in a really long time because my tendon injury and just being sick and a lot of stuff. So I'm happy to finish that. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm going to drink my coffee and paint and listen to an audiobook while I paint. So I'll show you all my painting set up. It's in our backyard. As you can see it's really dark because it's late. We have these lights strung up on the patio. But that alone isn't enough light so I also have the lamp and the kitchen lights shine out here too. I have the painting canvas turned because it's something I'm almost done with and it's a gift for a friend. I doubt my friend will have the time to be watch this but oh the camera got went blurry. Let's see if I can fix this. Okay. I doubt my friend will have the time to watch this, but you never know. So I don't want to risk them seeing it and spoiling the surprise. So I have my paint, acrylic paints. I have a plastic wrapped plate, plate to use um, to put them on. Some clean water. I have coffee to drink. Brushes. Some new brushes I bought recently here. Um, and I have when Dimple met me. Rishi as an audiobook on my computer. And then also my painting clothes because I get too messy when I paint and I don't want to risk getting anything on my clothes. Oh, and I also have a plastic shower curtain as a drop cloth on the table. So we have a nice little box fan out here, as you can see. I turned it off right now so it won't be loud in the video, but I'll turn it back on to help with the humidity so my skin doesn't feel sticky. Because it is really humid from because it's one, the south, secondly, because of the storms, and it'll also keep bugs away. But yeah, it's a nice setup. It just takes a lot of work to do, which is why I'm only now doing it, because I did not have the energy to set all this up earlier. So thankfully, I'm feeling better, and I have coffee, so I have the energy to set up and to work for a while now. I'm hoping to get a good amount of work in it tonight, and maybe even finish it. We'll see, because I'm hoping I finish it before my friend comes, before I see them again. So we'll see. But I'm gonna go paint. So 
you know how I said I'm messy when I paint? Well, guess who just put, I'm sorry, I'm moving you around. Guess who just put their elbow in the middle of the paint? See that paint there? Yes. This is why we're painting clothes. I just realized I was zooming in on you guys while I was filming, and so you just like got a real good close up of my nose. So, anyways, this is why I put painted clothes on, and you should drop cloth. But thankfully, the progress is coming along well. But my shoulder and hand is really hurting. This is why I've not painted in a while, and now I'm remembering why. But hopefully, I can do okay. It's just hard on EDS joints. That is a sound of about five. I think they have a bunch. Five angry beagles. They probably saw another dog because that's usually what they do when they see one. I know it annoys some of the neighbors around here, but I love it. It makes me laugh. I'm done painting for the night. My joints hurt so much. My um, wrist especially, it really hurts, kept dislocating and now it feels like as if the tendon and um, joints are pulling as far and loosely as they can, which if when I tested my mobility compared to the left wrist, they definitely are a lot looser. <laughs> so I'm going to give my wrist a break for the night, even though I really want to keep working on my arm because I'm just so motivated. but. I know my joints need rest, but I'm really happy with what I got done. I wanted to paint for another 30 minutes, but I am at a really good stopping point. I got a lot of shading done, and so if I start now, I'd just be starting on the midtones. I need a lot of time to do that, and I don't want my paint to dry out and then have to mix it up again tomorrow and have a slightly different shade. So I'll wait and do midtones tomorrow, and hopefully that will come well, along well. But I'm really happy with the way it's looking. It's looking so much better than when I started. <laughs> So, I'm exhausted, so I'm going to go rest for a bit and then get some sleep. So, good night. I will see y'all tomorrow, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow.